Hello friends, let us now learn the next type of consolidation in the diffuse consolidation. Let us now learn about diffuse homogeneous consolidation. So in the diffuse homogeneous consolidation, as the name says here, this is the left lung, and uh, sorry, this is the right lung. Now we have the left lung. This is the hard body. Now, in this consolidation is seen diffusely and it is homogeneous instead of patchy. So, this is the diffuse homogeneous consolidation which is seen. So, it is present diffusely and it is homogeneous, that is, the whole field looks the same, you can see, at the same density. Then we call it diffuse homogeneous consolidation. Now the question is, where do you see this diffuse homogeneous consolidation? This diffuse homogeneous consolidation is seen in conditions like pulmonary edema. It is seen in conditions like acute respiratory distress syndrome or pulmonary hemorrhage where the whole lobe of lung or the whole segment of lung is filled with blood. And it is seen in conditions like pneumonia, especially it, is seen, it can be seen in either in viral pneumonia or pneumocystis pneumonia. It is seen in conditions where the alveolar is filled with proteins like alveolar proteinosis. And in cases of extensive atelectasis also, you can see this diffuse homogeneous consolidation or opacity which is seen. So, if you see the picture, this is the diffuse homogeneous opacity which is seen. Uh, if you see, even it is showing still hard uh, sign, not clearly. Here, the lung border, sorry, the heart border is seen clearly. If it is not seen clearly, then we can say that it is silotting, but actually, it is not silotting. So, there is this consolidation. This is a diffuse consolidation because it is present for most of the lung and it is homogeneous because the whole opacity has the same density so it is diffuse homogeneous consolidation which is seen so thank you